Hello, in this video we're going to do a monopoly problem that involves a graph and some mathematics. Here is the monopolist market demand curve. And the monopolist has a cost of production as follows. And with this information, the graph and the cost equation, we want to solve for the profit maximizing price and output along with the consumer surplus. So let's take our cost equation and derive marginal cost from it. Marginal cost is the derivative of the cost equation with respect to Q, the quantity of output. The derivative of 2 is 0. The derivative of 3Q is 3. And the derivative of this last term, we're going to take 2, multiply it by 0 0.125. That gets us 0 0.25. And then we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent, leaving us with just Q. Now we're going to solve for the inverse market demand. So in general, the inverse market demand takes this form here for a linear inverse market demand. The vertical intercept is 48. That's A. The slope here, it's downward sloping. It's negative. So just rise over run. We get minus 3. So plugging that information in, we have our inverse market demand is 48 minus 3Q. So once again, our inverse market demand. And now we're going to solve for marginal revenue. The marginal revenue is just the inverse market demand with a slope that is twice as steep. So here's our inverse market demand. Instead of minus 3Q, we got minus 6Q, a slope that is twice as steep. Now profit maximization, setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. We solved marginal cost earlier. Adding 6Q to both sides and subtracting 3 from both sides. And now dividing through by 6.25, the profit maximizing output is 7.2 units. To get the profit maximizing price, we're going to take this 7.2 and plug it into the inverse market demand, and we get a profit maximizing price of $26.40. And so we're going to solve for consumer surplus. Price equals $26.40, which I have show here. And the quantity is 7.2, which I have here. Consumer surplus will be this area of the triangle between the height of the demand curve and this $26.40, up to 7.2 units. And the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, so 48 minus 26.4. That's one dimension of the triangle. And the other dimension here is 7.2 minus 0, or just 7.2. And we're going to multiply those together. And then again, it's 1 half base times height, so that's where that's 1 half is coming from. And we get $77.76. .76. Okay, that's it.